So hey guys, I'm just here for a new job. Oh, I see I need to get my hammer out, uh, start hammering stuff. Okay, um, oh shoot, no, accidentally hurt them. <laughs> job well done, I need to get out of here. So what is up guys, Keymaster here. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you about the doctor's story. I'm going to be telling you why I wasn't here on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So yeah, so this is the story. It's 100% true. No lying, no exaggerations, none of that garbage. So basically, this is how it all started. So it was Thursday, um, you know, Thursday in the morning. It was like 6 o'clock or something. I woke up to a sore throat. I thought it was probably nothing. So it kind of felt kind of dry in the back of my throat. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll just drink some water so I can feel better. So then I go downstairs, drink some water, and then once I drink the water, it hurts. So I was like, that's not good. So I decided to take some of the Lonzel, like sore throat Lonzels that you suck on to school. So I like took about four, and then I go, I suck on one at home. So I took five in total. So I suck on one at home, I go to school, and then, because it, it was a testing day, so before the test, I took one of the Lonzels so that I don't get distracted by a sore throat and stuff. So I take one of them while I'm doing the test, and then five minutes after the thing just dissolved in my mouth, it starts to hurt again. So then I'm like, hmm, let me just wait like another hour till I get another one. So an hour passes by, I'm still writing the test. And then I take one, it feels better. Teacher says, stop taking, and she's like, okay, time's up. It's time to stop taking the test and stuff. So then my throat was okay. Five minutes later, guess what? It started to hurt again. So then I started saying, well, there's something suspicious about this throat. So then I'm like, hmm, let me just wait until lunchtime till I take another one. So then lunchtime comes. Before I, like, even touch the food or anything, I eat, I mean, I suck on one of the Lonzels. Once it dissolves, everything's okay. I have a good lunch, no problem. Straight after lunch, like, the exact second I throw my, f like, the exact se second I throw my, you know, my leftovers and stuff like that away, to the trash can, my throat started to hurt again. So then I said to myself, there's really something wrong. I don't know. I'm just going to have to wait until tomorrow. So then I go back home, take another one of those Lonzo's. Yeah, same process. Then it's time to go to bed. I go to sleep. It was a, And then in the morning I wake up, my throat had like such a such a horrible pain it was un indescri indescribable it was so painy I couldn't even go to school I just yelled at my mom saying I cannot go to school today my throat is just out of control so then uh, I sit up and then to my surprise <laughs> the pain goes away so then I'm like okay okay everything's cool I think I'll be back to school on Monday so then, um, an hour after that, because I was sleeping, I woke up, uh, my mom said, go take a shower, we're gonna go to the doctor. So I'm like, I don't need the doctor, I'm feeling pretty okay right now, I think I'm gonna go back to school on Monday, everything's cool. So then my mom says, no, I already signed up, made an appointment. So then I'm like, no, there's no need for an appointment. And she says yeah you have to go so then I'm like okay okay so then uh, it's time to go to the doctors so I go to the doctors they, and then they check me out and then I'm like and then the doctors like lie down for me please when does your throat hurt the most I'm like probably cuz when it lie down it's when it hurts the most cuz I remember when I was trying to sleep it started hurting so I tell the doctor that so then the doctors like okay um what do you take then I'm like I don't know what if it's called it's like Cicaprol or I don't even know I don't know guys probably you guys know it starts with a C okay a C I tell the doctor this is her response 
Okay, so I had to edit that part because my mom needed me. So, okay, so this is the response. Okay, so the doctor basically said I should stop taking those things. So then I said, okay, I'll stop taking the things. So then she says, lie down so that she could, like, listen to your heartbeat to see if everything's okay. So then she puts the, st whatever it's called, stethoscope, I don't even know. And then she puts it on my heart and then she listens. Then she's like, that's kind of strange. And then I'm like, what? Then she says, your heart's beating kind of fast. I'm like, uh, isn't that supposed to happen when you're nervous? So then she says, uh, nervousness has nothing to do with how fast your heart beats. And I want you guys to tell me in the comment section below. Don't you think that's kind of suspicious? Because I remember having a flashback of when I was going to get GTA 5 for Xbox One. I mean, I was kind of nervous, like... Because I wasn't sure if I, um, you know, if I, my mom was going to let, like, if she was going to pay for it or if I had enough money or, you know, it was just confusing. And I was excited, right? So then she says, oh, and ner nervousness has nothing to do with how fast the heart beats and stuff like that. So I thought that was kind of suspicious because I've been nervous in a lot of situations and my heart was, you know beating really fast so then um so then i'm like okay okay i kind of play with it then she says open your mouth and then she looks into my mouth and then my tonsil my tonsils are swollen and they're like covered in white stuff and then she says oi and she literally said oi just like that like oi and then i'm like whoa what's going on because <laughs> that was kind of weird to me at the time so then she says you have strep throat so then, at that point, I was like, whoa, okay, no wonder my throat had such a pain when I woke up. So then she's like, okay, okay, we need to ask you some questions. She asked me the weirdest questions. I mean, it was just weird to me. So then she, she was saying, your heart's beating kind of fast. And I was like, don't, doesn't your heart beat kind of fast when you're sick? Isn't that kind of natural? Then, she, I don't know, she didn't even answer the question. Then after that, she's like, do you smoke? Do you take drugs or something? And then I said, no, I don't do that. Then, I don't know, she didn't, she kind of didn't believe me. So then, after I answered that, she left the room. And then I kind of heard, like, some talking in the background behind the door. And then she comes back in and she says, okay, come on, let's go do some blood work. And then I'm like... In my head, I'm like, why is this necessary? I mean, I just answered the questions. And why? And then they did the blood work and all that stuff. And then after that, they said, you need to go to a cardio cardiologist to check out your heart. And I'm like, no, it's just because I'm nervous sometimes, okay? I'm nervous right now. It doesn't mean my heart's sick or something. And then they didn't believe me, so yeah, I have to go to the cardi cardiologist this week. I might not be here on Friday, because my mom's not telling me when she's booking the appointment, but I suspect it's going to be on a Friday. So yeah, I don't want to do anything. So then the blood work comes back in, she says, okay, okay, you didn't take drugs after all. And then I'm like, you know... I should have said I did coconut crack. <laughs> it's just something I made up just to for fun. I mean, you guys who go to my school, you you get the joke. You you probably get the joke. But yeah, so yeah, that's all for today's video. I'll keep you guys informed about what happens next. If you guys like today's little video. <laughs> Well, if you guys want to see more, please tell me in the comment section below. This is K-Master here. Peace out.